Now let's take a look at another example to understand the importance of the direction of this filter that we specify while defining the relationship in Power BI. So we have this data, we have some sales data, and then we have the manager and the region names associated with these sales. So if we take a look at the data by going to the data tabs and Let's take a look at the sales table. So this is your sales table. You have some sales related data in this table. You can see over here that we have some cost and revenue associated with these people. And then we have the region. There are different region names and then you have some managers and in this table you can see that some regions there is an allocation between a region and a manager name so the managers are assigned to regions now here we can see if we take this example we can see that this particular manager is assigned to multiple regions so she is assigned to midwest she or he and they're also assigned to the southern region and for the same region there can be multiple managers so now what you understand from this data is that there is a many to many relationship between the region name and the manager name and how have we resolved that in our data model. So in the data model we have this region table coming in between which is acting as a link between the manager table and the sales table. So what we are basically trying to say over here is that one manager can have different regions under her and then we need to pick up the sales for those different regions combined together for that particular manager one region can have multiple managers so when we are picking up the sales from the sales table for that region we should have the combined sales for that particular region right so now you can see the relationship that have been established there is a one to many relationship between the region and the sales table and there here we have a many to many relate we have again a one to many relationship but it is bi-directional and that relationship established from the region to the manager table now if we click on this relationship if we double click on this relationship this dialog box will pop up and here we can define the direction the cross filter direction so let's change it to single and see what happens now the relationship type has been changed to the single filter direction and now if you just look at the arrows of the direction you'll be able to understand how the filter would flow between these different tables so let's say now i want to find out the sales for a particular manager so i go to the manager table and pick up the manager name from here and then i have to go through the region table which is the link table for me so if i can go can my data flow from the manager to the region table can i apply a filter on manager name for the region I cannot do that because my data is flowing from the region to the manager okay and not manager to the region my filter direction is specified as such that my filter data would be flowing only from region to manager so i can put a filter on region okay but i cannot put a filter on the manager name so now if i want to pick up the sales amount for a particular manager my data cannot flow to the sales table because there is no functionality we have not defined the direction of the filter coming from the manager to the region table the filter is only single directional going from the region to the going from the region to the manager table so let's take a look at the report to visualize how it affects the data so if you go to this report and now go to our fields and bringing some sales data so let's just bring in the revenue all right and now let's go to the manager and bring in the manager name and let's convert this to a table visualization so it's easier for us to see so we have this table visualization right over here let's also create another table okay and let's bring in our revenue once again and this time let's bring in the region name Let's bring in the region name from the manager table and let's convert this to table as well. And now let's take a closer look at these two charts that we have created. So let's go to the focus mode and let's take a look here. So what we have done here is region name and revenue. And now if you see the values, you can see that for each region, you have a fixed value, which is basically the total revenue value across all the regions. 
let's go back to the other report and see if it works fine so this is my manager name by revenue so let's go back and let's pull it over here let's go back to the focus mode for this and you can see that the same thing is happening over here so the figures here are also the same because we have the across all the managers we have the total revenue displayed and that is the total revenue we can see in the total subtotals as well right let's go back to the report why has this happened and how can we fix this let's go back to our data model this has happened because as we said we cannot apply a filter from any of the fields from the manager table because the filter direction does not flow from the manager to the towards the sales table right now but let's say uh, that we want to filter on the region name region name is also present in this table region which is a link table and we can see that the filter direction does flow from the region to the sales table so will it affect our data in the visualization if we go to this particular visualization and instead of taking the region name from the manager table right over here we take it from the region table so let's pick it from the region table and let's just change the direction let's go to the focus mode to view it in more detail and now i can see that the values here seem to be correct they have been categorized by the different regions over here so now the filter has been applied to the region name and the reason for that is because the filter direction is specified from the region table to the sales table so that is why we have been able to apply this filter now i also want to find out the revenue by applying any filters across the manager name so how can i fix this the simple way to fix this is to enable the filtered data flow from this manager table till the sales table and to do that i simply have to go to this relationship double click on this and change the direction to both now i have changed the direction to both and now just by looking at the arrows i can see that my data can flow from the manager table till the region and then onwards to the sales table and now if i go back to my visualizations and go back to my manager name visualization go to the focus mode i can see that my revenue has been split across by the different manager names so now my data has been correctly categorized by the filters that i specified on the manager name so this is why it is very important to specify the right directions of the cross filter while defining your relationships in power bi